Hey, Earth Signs, and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you so very much for joining me here. I'm doing your weekend love reading for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 4th and 5th. So let's see what you guys have going on in love for the weekend. All right, your first card out is the Death card in reverse. Your next card out is the Ten of Cups in reverse. And your last card out is the Nine of Pentacles. The person that you are dealing with. Way too many. Who are our signs dealing with? Thank you. All right. Their first card out is the Magician. The second card out is the Six of Pentacles. All right. And there we had two cards come out, the Ace of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. So I'm going to Get one more for you guys as well. And you got the King of Swords. That was quick. All right. Your guys' situation here. What are they dealing with together? The Emperor. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Way too many. Let's see what they are, though. All right, I'm being told to take them. <laughs> I guess yours will be a little bit longer than usual. All right. And their shared energy. The Empress. The Hierophant. The Fool. And the Chariot. Oh, my dear Lord, guys. This reading's going to last forever. I can't believe all the cards you guys have out here. Okay, I'm going to tip you guys down here. Hopefully you can see all those. Okay, so I don't know if I can even express how huge this is. This is definitely going to take more than a weekend. Um, you're going to start to see it happening this weekend, but your shared energy is for Major Arcana. So most definitely uh, huge changes. As we know, I am going to clarify uh, each one of those just because uh, that many major arcanas in the shared energy is ridiculous. So this is going to maybe be a little bit. All right. Why is the Empress here? Thank you. And the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here for our Earth Science? Thank you. And the Fool. Why is the Fool here for Earth Science? All right. So, just with your shared energy alone, the Empress was the first card out with the Nine of Cups. So, you and your person um, are wanting to create something, wanting to begin a new life. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune here with the Empress as well, um, it's about going, starting a new chapter, but really coming together to create something. Um, some of you could be getting pregnant, but this is everything that you guys have hoped for with the nine of cups. Um, you have been hoping and trying to figure out a way to bring this um, situation together to create this new beginning. Um, for some of you, you're creating a new company um, and this is everything that you've poured your heart and soul into and it is now coming into fruition. Um, you also have the Hierophant with the Nine of Swords. So you are, um, as even though your uh, business 
life could be taking off. You're really stressing out a relationship. You're really stressing out about um, somebody that you are connected to with the hair fence, somebody that you're married to. There's a lot of stress and a lot of sleepless nights here between the two of you. Um, not knowing what you should do as far as that goes. You are going to take a leap of faith here. You have the seven of pentacles and the page of pentacles. So you're being very patient about something that you are going to take a leap of faith with. You are investing in the situation, investing in yourself, being patient and really figuring out where you want to place this, these pentacles, because there are children involved in the situation with the page here. There's, you could also be waiting to hear from somebody with an offer, um, about this, uh, love or job situation as well. Um, I do see you moving on and moving forward. The chariot always moves on single. Uh, they, they either are moving away from somebody or moving towards somebody, but they do, uh, move away alone. And with the hair front being clarified by the nine of swords, you are stressing out about this. You've put a lot of thought and time into this. Um, but you're going to, uh, get a lot of healing from this. There's something missing from this relationship and you, you just couldn't not, I mean, you, you're taking a leap of faith in yourself and moving forward away from this relationship. You could be moving towards a twin flame for some of you. Um, and I only say that because the Empress and the Emperor did come out in the deck, both in the upright. Um, so in your shared energy, this more than likely is somebody that you're not with. You're in separation from this, uh, twin and you're wanting to come together with this person, making yours and theirs, uh, you know, wishes coming true, prayers being answered, even though you're stressing out about leaving this situation, um, leaving this marriage because of the children, uh, you are going to go ahead and take that leap of faith, moving forward towards your twin, towards your soulmate, um, could be moving towards a cancer or a Sagittarius or an Aries, um, for some, um, but it doesn't have to be. Remember, don't, don't get hung up on the signs because we all have all sorts of zodiacs in our chart, but this is going to bring you healing. This is going to bring you balance. This is going to bring you to your other half of your soul. And this is going to, uh, be very good for you, but have patience with yourself. You have seven of pentacles and temperance in the shared energy. You both have to be patient. Um, I do feel that you haven't reached out or told this person that you're in separation from about this. Um, so they don't even know that you are leaving this situation for a lot of you. Um, Earth signs, you've been holding off on this transformation. You've been holding off, allowing this uh, spiritual rebirth for yourself out of fear. But you are, let's get a clarifier for that. Why is death here in reverse? Could be dealing with a Scorpio that you're leaving. Wow, look at that. So clarifying the death card. Um, you've been holding off on making this change, on allowing this cycle to end, on allowing yourself to purge and release from somebody that you are married to and have children with. This is the justice with the six of cups in the upright. So you're holding off separating, you're holding off getting this divorce or um, leaving a long-term commitment because of children, because of somebody you've known since childhood, because there's some, <clears throat> there's a lot of history here between the two of you. Um, but I do see you moving forward with that chariot and the nine of swords there, because even though you do care about this person, even though you have children with this person, even though you're married to this person, long-term commitment, whatever it is, the love is not the way it used to be. The love is not there. The cups are drained. They're in the reverse and you can't refill those cups after they are in the reverse. You can't get that water back out of the ground and fill those cups exactly the way they were before. So you are leaving a emotionally draining situation or science. Um, so you can gain your stability again. So you can, uh, be grounded and in your own element because this, uh, situation has really drained you emotionally and mentally. So you are moving forward and moving, you know, allowing this divorce or separation because you just really want to find that stable ground again. And you're going to, you're going to invest in yourself. You're going to take the time 
to nurture yourself, to, uh, to uh, bring yourself back to who you feel comfortable being. Um, why is this Nine of Pentacles here? You just want to be this confident person again. You want to be happy again. Um, you feel like you're missing out on something. You feel like you're there's more to life than this. So you're really at this crossroads with the two of wands. You don't know what to do. You're you're nervous about leaving this person, but you want to be the person you're meant to be. And you feel like in this relationship, you're not able to be who you're truly meant to be. But you're going to manifest the path that's meant for you. And you're going to take the right one because you know that one of these paths holds something magical for you. You know that one person out there, the connection between the two of you is out of this world. Um, and the universe is going to guide you in that path so you can be who you're meant to be, Earth Science. So you can be the person who you feel you are, but for some reason you can't be with this other person. You are going to take action. You're going to cut yourself out of the situation. You've thought long and hard about this, a little too long probably, um, but you are going to take action now um, with the King of Swords in the upright being clarified by the Three of Wands. So you are going to take action and move forward and manifest a situation with somebody new. Um, like I said, could be a fire sign here with the wands, but this is somebody you're at a distance from. This is somebody you're going to move towards because you feel that they are your destiny. You feel that they are your blessings. So you are going to move in their direction um, after you cut yourself away from the situation that is not serving your highest good because you have a path out there and you have a purpose and you feel you can't complete it where you're at. So you are going to move forward and um, move towards uh, who you feel you're meant to, uh, or you're going to move forward and be the person you feel you're meant to be. And that's when all your blessings are going to start coming in. That's when your ships will come in. The person you are dealing with is the magician. They are manifesting like a mofo over here. I do feel this is your twin or your soulmate. It is not the person you're leaving is what I'm hearing. Why is the magician here? Thank you. All right. So this person that you are at a distance from, they are manifesting this commitment with you. They are using the tools that they have learned along the way. They're learning using their life's lessons, their karmic lessons. They are using everything they can because they know how to. This person is very connected to the universe. They are very connected and know the law of attraction. They know how to manifest. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're manifesting a commitment. They're manifesting somebody who is going to be there for them, who's going to be solid, who's going to have their back, and who is connected in a spiritual way. This is a very strong spiritual connection that this person is manifesting. So whether that be with you or somebody else, this person is bringing in a commitment to them. Um, it probably depends on how long it takes you to move out of the situation that you're in. Why is the six of pentacles here? The star. All right. So um, they are finding their balance. They were the third party. They were, um, you know, they felt like they weren't getting enough out of the relationship with you. So they're trying to find their balance again, trying to gain um, their sense of self um, after being in this third party situation with you or signs. And remember, this can be vice versa. If you were the third party, just switch the roles. But they're, they are healing from being in that third party with you, whether they were or you were just put it where it applies, but, um, they are finding this healing, um, and they are bringing their balance back. They are, uh, they are feeling back like they're meant to be, uh, because this star card is healing them. It's bringing them that peace and that, uh, self love. It's just bringing all those, all every area of their life is coming into balance for this person. There's, there are so many major arcana here. It's crazy. All right. So um, they're finally learning to go with the flow. They uh, 
when the two of you split, you could have left them if you were if you had the third party. If they were the third party, they went back to somebody else. But whoever the third party was, they're learning to go with the flow, the ups and downs in life, the ever changing energy, um, and and they're finally getting it. They're finally getting how it works. They're finally learning to balance their energy. They're finally um, balancing their finances, their home life, their work, their love, their friends. Everything's coming into balance for them um, after healing from this broken heart. Their heart is finally healed um, from being juggled. They were, uh, this energy is the one that was in the third party, was the one that was the mistress, the mister. Um, and now that they are healing from this heartache, from being this juggled energy, they are getting this new beginning. They are getting a new opportunity at love. A cycle has ended for them and they are beginning um, a new with somebody. The eight of cups. So yeah, like I said, after they walked away from this situation um, where they were the juggled energy, um, they're getting this new beginning. It took them having to walk away and heal this broken heart before either you would come towards them or whatever the situation. I do see the two of you coming together. Um, if you are in a soulmate or a twin flame relationship, I'm sorry, I'm not picking up any like regular, like life partner, uh, time timelines here, but that doesn't mean that this isn't a new soulmate coming in. So, um, just put it where it applies, but this person had to walk away and heal and find this healing before the two of you could come together. And your guys' situation, you have the Emperor, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Moon, the Nine of Cups, and the High Priestess. So why is the Emperor here for Earth Signs and the person they are dealing with? Thank you. Oh my goodness, way too many. One card, please. Why is the Emperor here? Thank you. The Devil. All right. So the two of you both had to get your sense of stability, your sense of grounding. You had to put your priorities where they were meant to be instead of focusing on the need for each other, focusing on the overthinking, the, you know, this is also a, a card of temptation. Um, you know, you had to, you had to really get yourself in check, get yourself in line, um, put your priorities where they were meant to be, get your finances figured out and, and, and now that you are in the upright, which is beautiful, you're you're gaining your stability. You're getting on the ground. You're ready to move forward um, and and come back to this. This is a bond. This is a to me. It's not always a negative thing. This is a bond that is so strong and so magical that the two of you, no matter what, no matter how many years pass magnetically will be pulled back together when the time is right. When the two of you have your life together, when the two of you are healed and complete and ready to come together as the divine masculine and divine feminine, this magnetic attraction is going to bring the two of you back together. Um, you're getting out of this being stuck or signs. You're no longer moving slow poke mode. You are moving forward. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Thank you. All right. The eight of swords. Yeah. So you were stuck. So you're no longer feeling stuck or signs. You're no longer in this stuck in the mud um, because the eight of swords is here. So you are going to get out of this feeling trapped. Um, and that is the situation that is coming up to this point. So you are getting out of that. You're going to allow things to be illuminated. This is a deep passion. You're going to follow your heart. You're going to follow uh, who you're meant to be with, who you feel in your heart you're meant to be with or where you're meant to be or who you're meant to be, however that fits. Yeah, you're no longer, things are coming to light about the third party as well, but you're no longer going to juggle energies. You're going to follow your heart. You're going to, the moon also is about romance, deep passion, love, an undying love, uh, moon magic. Like it's a beautiful card. It's not always secrets and deceit. It depends on what it's with. And in this reading, it is most definitely a deep passion, a romantic feeling that can't go away, that won't go away. Um, and you're no longer going to 
put this person in a third party or they are no longer going to put this person or put you in a third party because the two of you have this deep romance for each other that can't be denied. So you're putting that third party down and really your wishes and your hopes and your prayers are being answered as are theirs um, because they are waiting on you. Yeah, this is a fire sign. Um, you are going to get what you want. You are going to get this person. They are going to get you. Um, but this is also about just go. Go now, think later, because you have taken a long time with that Ace of Swords or that King of Swords to think about this. Um, this person is very bold, very, very passionate. They, they lead with their heart and that's going to get you what you want by you taking action, by you moving forward, by you, um, taking control of the situation. It's going to bring in that wish is coming true. Um, so allow your intuition to guide you. Follow your heart, follow your gut, because it's telling you where you need to be and where you want to be. Um, and that's not currently where you're at, but I do see you doing that with that shared energy. Yeah, it's telling you to lay that burden down. Follow your intuition and put down the weight of the world off your shoulders. It's not all yours to carry. So listen to your intuition. It is on spot. Put this burden down. Allow that to release. And, <clears throat> and move forward, um, to the person that, you know, you're meant to be with when this comes out, the emperor, the empress and the high priestess, this is, uh, without a doubt, a twin flame soulmate connection, because this is light and dark yin and yang balance. These are the highest vibrating couple of the deck. So you're most definitely, um, being called to go back to a twin for a reconciliation. Seven of Cups came out for me. That is life partners. One and seven is your first and seventh house. Um, even though you're confused, you know which one uh, is meant. You know which one is yours, what is meant to be. So you are going to make in your outcome or sign, you are going to make a decision, a choice. You are taking off the blindfold and moving forward, allowing cycles to complete, allowing things to end that need to end. And going with your true life partner, the person you're meant to be with. Um, yeah, no longer allowing that confusion. Wow. Seven of cups in reverse. So you're making a choice. The confusion is no longer there. You are no longer confused about who you want and where you want to go. You're allowing cycles to end. Um, and you're laying down the burden. You're, you're putting that hurt behind you. You're putting all that in the past. And moving forward with the person that you are meant to be with because they are a gift to you from the universe. They are your ace of pentacles. They are who you're meant to be with. This is your gift. Your life partner, your part soulmate, your twin flame is a gift from the universe and they're handing it to you. And that's where you're headed or signs. Wow. That was a long reading. Bottom of your clarifying deck is a chariot. So you are moving forward. No longer being stuck. That is a... Uh, Oops, that is a blessing. All right, one card for our earth signs, please, for the weekend. Yeah, there's so many, so much major arcana. This is probably over the next couple of weeks. Um, and your card is, this is the one. You have already met the romantic partner that you seek. And you know that. Uh, bottom of your deck, clarifying that, is religious factors. So you were on your own separate paths of healing. But the two of yours paths will come back together after you heal because this is who you're meant to be with. This is the one, your life partner, your twin flame, your soulmate, however it fits. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Earth Science. I send you all love, light, and God bless.